We met, uh, I was a midwife and my best friend in mid is David's cousin. So she introduced us, he had a mallet, an earring and drove a Trans Am. So my father was in, in the Victorian Police, he was an assistant commissioner at the time. So I roll up with David and I think Dave, Dad wondered what on earth had I dragged in. <laughs> so it was quite fun actually. So yeah, through my friend, Beryl. There was some sort of party on at uh, my cousin's place and um, I'm a sports person always into doing things on extreme and I think I, she bet me in a game of ping pong so I think that, that, that aroused my interest if someone can beat me. Um, so I think from then we, we started to just uh, catch up. He and, disputes uh, that ever since. I think I let her win. I, I, I got to say that. I, I let her win. Oh, I beat him. Fair and square. Maybe I, I was distracted then. I, I wasn't quite playing <laughs> as, as good as I could have. So that'll be my excuse. She's not full time in the business. Uh, so I think that keeps it enough that she doesn't get too sick of me. And uh, look, she's a very good help and we do a lot of the shows together with some of the product ranges we sell and um, we enjoy going to Sydney and travelling around. So it's good to be able to travel together, particularly when we're selling product. And uh, she's very good with customer service and with people, better than I am, I get told. So it's great to have her, you know, she's a real asset when it comes to the sales role. So yeah, she's been good. And if I get sick of her, she can go home. <laughs> Yeah, well, we've got four kids at home, so they are our priority. And I think with David, uh, it's more than a full-time job and he travels a lot, so we have to keep that balance of family and work. I try and keep an eye on him, but that's very hard. I said to him, no more businesses. <laughs> he didn't listen. <laughs> no, no, we'd only said maybe six weeks or a couple of weeks before we purchase Ultimate that we had enough at the moment and we weren't going to take on any more acquisitions but you know when an opportunity presents itself. My dad started the business I actually come out of school and just went straight into um, our family business and I think my initial focus was racing and I was involved in motorsports from rally to demolition derbies to jet sprint which is like a boat racing and so I've actually built some fiberglass components before and built our race boats so I think it was part of the interest with um, Ultimate was the, the boat the factor. And um, I guess from that dad was also travelling around and setting up a thing called Business Aid where he would go overseas and um, they'd buy machinery and, and stuff for, for small businesses in other countries and one of them was Fiji and he'd sent a couple of sewing machines across. It was across. more for, for communities that didn't have work and so he was setting up um, businesses that would help them in their communities that um, ha didn't have a lot of work to, to help them with. So, so that's how Business Aid started and that's how Fiji started, so as a mission basically. We still have about 100 staff in Fiji or over 100 staff over there and um, uh, you know they don't have a lot of opportunity over there. It's a low income country, it's a little Pacific neighbour and um, especially the ladies don't have a lot, lot to do and um, we find that it got expensive in Australia with labour and, and we had a, a, we slowly over time, instead of moving to China, we found Fiji, they speak English, uh, the fishing's much better in Fiji, so we migrated across there and, um, you know, they're, that works well for us. They're like our family, um, the staff, I just love them so much and um, they're really good to us and, and we hope that we're really good to them. Um, we lived over there for two years and um, that was an amazing experience. We went with three children and we came back with four. And no, I didn't have a delivery. So we were asked to adopt a little boy and um, we, we really prayed about that um, in our, our faith and felt that that's what God was, was calling us to do. And it's probably been one of the best decisions we've made. He's, he's been a great um, yep. addition to our family. We have three girls and now Samuel. So he was two when we adopted him and he's now 11 lots of fun and the girls love him most of the time <laughs> so yeah so that was that's been pretty special we've both uh, been camping all our 
lives. So travelling around an Australian outback and we've had property, my dad's got a couple of thousand acres or still now in Inverell and so we like the outback, we like to travel and you know done it on the tent tops, done it on like a Jayco type pop top and you know it's hard to take some of these pla these vehicles into some of these remote places like Kings Canyon and we, when we went up north we had to leave our van many times and then go camping in tents or swags to get into the more my, remote places. My favourite place was the Gibb River Road but we had to take swags so it would have been great to have had an ulti then and go in comfort that would have been awesome but we can do that again. Well a lot of the roads are a lot better now but effectively um, there's still more off-road places to go, national parks, and um, we hope that with this, this new lightweight unit we can go and do some of that testing and head out and camping experiences. I've always loved camping and I've dreamt about camper trailers, uh, you know, over 10 years ago and, and drew some down on paper and dreamt about how we could make them to get into these, you know, hard to reach places. And then when we had an opportunity to buy a company, Blue Water Campers, we, we brought it and then we used our canvas experience. We've been in the camp, canvas industry for 30 years. Uh, we started to develop the tent. So with you know, plenty of Chinese cheap imported campers, which we started out with Blue Water as a fully imported product. And then we used our Fiji plant to develop you know, the tents a lot better. And then we started to retrofit them with better Australian componentry. Particularly the tenting though is where we specialised and the blue mud up market, the blue water's gone really well for us and you know we're just got a camper of and the I must, year. I must yeah. say he's really smart and very able and capable. Very proud of him. Um, really clever at new designs and problem solving and so the tents that he's developed and designed in blue water are, are really good and you know he, he sees things, he sees how things can be improved and He's really good at that, so it's fantastic that he now has this opportunity um, with Ultimate to to use his talents and skills to even make it more Ultimate. It's a fantastic product already, but he's he's really good. As, as we've tried to make Blue Water Campers one of the best campers out there, I've, you look at the best, and we've seen the Ultimate brand for many years, and and you sort of use it as your goal or, or your guide to say, well, that's the Ultimate is up there, and. So when we saw the opportunity to even buy the company, the ultimate, we love the brand, love the product, and with um, our, my boating background, I thought, wow, what an opportunity. So when uh, the ultimate came up, I just looked at it and I had an incredible piece. I just thought, no, this is really good, and this is really suitable to us as a family and um, as the whole Eagle group. I just felt well, really we're not, peace. We're not really Melbourne-based too. We've been Nyora, like a little country town, so I've always been regional when I've grown up and even now we're in Pakenham, it's not really, I call it Melbourne. So when we came up here to have a look at Ultimate in this town of Maruya, it was just like a little community and, and, and when we got to talk to the staff, I found the staff were the right. biggest asset for us, you know, all these, a lot, of, from, a lot from young guys to old guys that have been living here on the beach and working, they were so passionate about the product and as we find more and more uh, very Ultimate owners out there, the passion and the brand is awesome. So we just thought, it started to stir our passion up and going, oh, this is a great brand, a great product. If we can develop it with some of the things we've learned over time and, and improve the tenting and, and, and design some new some new ideas, we're really excited about where the brand can go and, and actually taking the van away and, and doing a lot of travelling ourselves eventually. <laughs>